Towards the later part of the N64's reign, Nintendo released a spat of Mario sports related games, all featuring a focus on multiplayer action. Mario Tennis is a game developed by Camelot and published by Nintendo in the year 2000 across the world. Mario Tennis features many of the Mushroom Kingdom characters that we all know and love, and it interwines it with a game perfectly crafted to create one of the best multiplayer experiences released by Nintendo since Mario Kart 64. As expected, this is more of an arcade style game than the other simulation takes on the sport already found on the system, and in doing so it creates the total package for fans of multiplayer gaming. Graphically, the game looks great. There is a certain level of polish missing from an in-house created game, however Camelot must be commended for some great attention to detail in helping to bring the world and characters to life. Everything looks cute and colourful, and there are some fantastic animations unique to each character which makes you feel as you are actually playing with the character rather than a reskinned version. The camera zooms and pans to capture all of the action, and mid-game replays and cutscenes which continue to draw you into the game and they add a sense of competition. The visual effects such as flashes, sparkles and blurs are all used beautifully and don't become an annoyance or overly repetitious. For a game which takes place in such a small environment, this was key in not overly saturating the player with an overabundance of things to look at. Playing the game is as much fun as it looks from the footage you are watching. The basic rules of tennis are in place, but it's how well the mechanics have been implemented which makes the game so fun to play. Each of the characters handles differently, and so you need to take some time to practice with each to decide who suits your playstyle the best. You have the big heavy characters such as Bowser, who are slow but powerful. Then you have characters who are nimble and quick and small, such as Toad. This adds a surprising level of depth to the game, and in multiplayer you will also want to balance your team's abilities by choosing characters who complement one another and can work cohesively as a team. This detail also continues to the courts themselves, as there are a wealth to choose from and the ball and physics of the game differ depending on which surface you are playing. There are also stages where you need to hit specific targets and areas. My personal favourite is Bowser's Castle, which comes complete with power-ups a la Mario Kart, which gives you weapons which you can use to your advantage by hitting the Z button. One of the greatest achievements of the game is that anyone can pick up and play and enjoy the game even if you're playing it for the first time. However, veteran players are able to learn how to slice, lob and position power shots to really devastate their opponents. If you put time into learning the craft of the game, it pays you back in kind as it will make completing the various cups an easier task and an enjoyable one at that. To match the great visuals is an awesome soundtrack. The music in the game is a joy to listen to and is filled with tunes and melodies which you will be whistling for weeks afterwards. Each of the characters also has their own set of phrases and sound effects which will make you smile if you're winning but infuriate you if you're losing. It wouldn't be fair to review this game without focusing on the multiplayer mode which is easily where you'll have the most fun. Playing the game with three other people is how the game was really designed to be played. Like many other multiplayer games there's nothing as fun as teaming up and getting some healthy competition going on in the same room around the same TV. Alliances will be formed, ganging up will take place but it's all in good fun. You have a selection of multiplayer modes such as tournaments and double matches to choose from and you can tweak settings very easily to create well balanced matches should you wish. The game has lots of unlockables and the solo player modes will keep you coming back but Mario Tennis really should be on your game shelf alongside Mario Kart 64 and Goldeneye for any multiplayer parties that you are planning. So how do you remember Mario Tennis? Was it a game you skipped due to having no interest in sports related games or did you pick this up and have lots of fun gaming sessions with friends whilst playing this sublime title? As always let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and until next time.